Good afternoon, my name is Peter Dufresne, I work with EPT. Today what I wanted to show you about was how our TMRN2 product works. TMRN2 is a small nitrogen generator that runs off a normal compressed air source and the membrane itself is here and with a regular compressed air source set at 100 psi this essentially splits the compressed air into two streams high purity nitrogen and enriched oxygen that's discharged there. We take the high purity nitrogen and we vent it uh, we direct it on top of the, the lube oil system and it offers extraordinary benefits to the quality and protection of that oil. Our inlet here uh, is connected and this regulator is set at 100 psi. That compressed air is directed into these two pre-filters and the point of these pre-filters is to remove the particulate but more importantly any residual oil that's in the compressed air. Um, residual oil in the compressed air would be one situation that would uh, reduce the life expectancy of this membrane. This membrane should last 10 years, um, provided that these filters are changed one time per year. So initially we connect this, uh, 100 psi inlet pressure, uh, our filters are installed, and this works immediately, and we, we basically set our flow. Uh, the flow requirements on a uh, nitrogen generating blanketing system are very, very low. We don't need a lot of nitrogen to remove the water that's in the oil. Um, most importantly, we want to protect the oil from contacting oxygen in the reservoir. But initially, we only need literally um, five liters per minute or less uh, to remove the, the water that's in that oil. So we set this at about five liters per minute. It's sized to go up to eight liters per minute, the system. Uh, it could be used at a higher rate, but that would just reduce the purity of the nitrogen. This configuration, this sizing, uh, has been set to produce 98 to 99 percent pure nitrogen. For times when you need to get into the tank, uh, in a nitrogen environment, there's health, health and safety requirements. Most importantly, nitrogen is a natural asphyxiant, so we, we can't inspect oil reservoirs without removing first the nitrogen that's in there. Uh, to do that, we can simply put the bypass on and now we are producing just pure compressed air. So that pure compressed air now is being directed through the blanketing system at the same velocity. You could actually increase it if you wanted to and after about 24 hours that system would be completely evacuated of any residual nitrogen. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any more questions please contact EPT for additional support. Thank you.